In a world desperate to tear itself apart, only one man, and some other people, stand in the way of total destruction. Together they will right the wrongs, make bad, good, and single-handedly destroy evil, together. Who is this man you may ask? This man, is, Jeff. Hello and welcome to Jeff Jones and Friends Make It Better, the show that takes life's small annoyances, breaks it down, turns them around and builds them back up again, um, hopefully with a bit of fun involved as well. Um, today I'm joined we're by uh, Head of Production of Face TV, Mr. Carl Austin. Hello Carl, how are you doing? Hello mate, yeah I'm doing very well. It's a, well, it's a very warm evening, it's been you know, overcast, muggy and you know very, very warm. Um, so yeah, I think I'm a bit sweaty at the minute as well. That's it. That's been the the main kind of I think bug, annoyance of just about everyone in the UK at the moment. We're not built for it. Uh, no. I'm certainly not built for it anyway. Definitely not. No. Uh, I'm that, not, no. <laughs> I really appreciate you uh, joining me for the inaugural um, "Make It Better" episode. Uh, let's kick off by hearing what is your bugbear that we're going to fix today. Well, uh, I like exercise. I like to work out at the gym. Um, and over the years, I've been doing it you know, since I was a teenager, just kind of lifting weights, running, exercising, you know, general just fitness, really. Um, I've never been, I'm not, you know, super athlete or anything like that, but I, you know, take some of it seriously. Uh, you know, I buy the right trainers or I buy the right T-shirt or something to make me sweat resistant and all that sort of works but I've started to see um, younger lads wear like what we would have called used to call flip-flops now the sort of yeah. sliders they're called sliders they kind of you know cover your top of your foot but your toes hanging out and and with socks as well not on their own but with socks um, no I don't have a problem with them in general because you know what you wear on your feet at the beach or, you know, at home or in the garden. In the privacy of your own home, yeah. Yeah, but if you're trying to lift, you know, if you're trying to lift a, some heavy weight, you know, p- p- pushing, you know, a shoulder press or something or something where you're, you've got you've got to keep stability on your floor, on the floor, wearing bloody flip-flops that are, are going to fall off or slip or you're just going to, you're just asking for trouble, aren't you, really? You, you are. I mean, I so I've occasionally frequent a gym, um, you know, a couple of times a year if uh, is is the aim. And I mean, I've yeah, I've I've seen this. I know exactly what you're talking about. With this kind of slightly lax um, kind of attire used in in the gym. I mean, what 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 do you think the reasoning is behind wearing <laughs> wearing sliders? It just doesn't seem to make any kind of sense. No, I don't. I don't. I, I, I have. I've yet to see anyone do kind of running or kind of you know that or machine exercising it's mostly guys um lifting weights you wearing this yeah the glamour and I, muscles yeah and, and i think i mean this partly could be where i go to i go to a gym that's uh part of a college so a sixth form college so 16 17 year olds use it but it's for the public you know, you know when i go i go at about four o'clock and they, those kids are just leaving so it's not, it's not, it's not, I, w- I wouldn't say it was them, but it could be some, because you know, they're so young there, it might be yeah. that. And, you know, I, you know, I'm 40, so maybe I'm just the wrong generation. Uh, you know, I'm, maybe I'm just a bit too old, but. They're, they're I certainly saying, cool, look at, look at that old guy wearing his brand, brand new 90 pair worth of, of trainers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you're there going, oh, kids are today with the. Well, the problem is, if it is the old ones as well, they're teaching these youngsters these bad habits. Because in, in no way, shape, or form is that any kind of uh, of safety. I mean, if you drop something, oh, you say they're all kind of doing weights. So they're, they're not kind of, you're know, running, they're not on the bikes. I mean, I know they you know, if they're doing free weights, then if that rolls, you know, as they're, they're, they're posing in front of a mirror as one of their mates is lifting the weights and they're going to be spotting them, but their mate mm. drops it and it rolls on their foot, you got a problem. Well, yeah. I mean, I can understand if you're wearing just trainers, you're going to hurt your feet if you do that. But it's for me, it's more stability. If you're trying to lift something, say, over your head and you, you've not really got proper grip on the floor and you just wobble, you might knock something. I, I don't know. 
I don't know. And plus they, you know, they're, they're not designed for that. They're designed to, you know, maybe if, if you're going to use them for sport, they're probably designed from pre-sport and post-sport to kind of cool you up, walk, cool you down, aren't they? I would have thought. Yeah, well, I, I, they're kind of introduced. I would say uh, this is a quite a general. I have no idea of the history of the slider, but I know that kind of in sport, uh, a lot of people who have to wear specialist boots, you know, like football players and things, because you can't walk around in your football boots. Oh, yeah. So you whack on them for a bit of comfort as they're on, I don't know, coaches or whatever, and they get to the uh, the arena, and then the football boots go on when it's time to warm up and train. I doubt they very much that that you see into famous football players' name here, kind of in in the gym, uh, wearing sliders. I mean, I mean, and and the thing, I mean, are they a fashion item? Like, are they all branded and stuff as well? Because yeah, you know, yeah, they're like so that you got your Nike ones, your Adidas ones. No, I don't, I don't care. You know, that, that's not the. I mean, I have a pair of. I used to have a pair of like Adidas sliders myself until like you know, you know they broke. But I'm, and I'm but I yeah, you know, I didn't wear them to the gym. I wore them. Did, did you home. wear them with socks? I haven't worn them with socks. No, I haven't done. I haven't worn them with okay. socks. No. That, I feel that's an important question that needed <laughs> answering. Because even, even, even the, <laughs> even, maybe that's the problem. Okay. Maybe that's the problem. I'm, I'm just so. Uh, I think wearing them with socks reminds me of m- like my granddad. You know, like an old man <laughs> wearing socks with sandals, kind of thing. Maybe that's what it is as well. You know, a bit, a bit of. Oh yeah, it's a bit unsafe. But also, Jesus, don't that look that's like my grand, what my granddad used to wear? <laughs> You've now kind of, yeah, you've got this built in fear that, oh, they sh- that granddad shouldn't be wearing, you know, lifting that much weight, especially in the <laughs> sliders with his socks on. And it kind of just transferring onto these kids. They were like, yeah, I've seen granddad's work out. This is, yeah, they look cool. Yeah. You know? I mean, I know you're partial to a flip flop or you used to be partial to a flip flop. Oh, yeah, you're still I'm partial like, to a flip flop. Not flip flop so much, more the open toe sandal. <laughs> An open toe. <laughs> <laughs> and I, is that is that what we without causing anyone any offense but jesus creepers is that what these three you know the, the uh, kind of yeah maybe yeah yeah uh, kind of mesh on top okay that's that's new maybe, maybe like, these, th- these are maybe what i wear are sort of closer to sliders anyway but they're sort of more not sports ones they're kind of have they got a back to them no no, they, haven't, they haven't got a kind of a little latcher that goes around the back and you turn no. it up and you could maybe no. wear them on a night out no <laughs> no I, I did have like, I did have a pair I did have a pair of those yes I, I, <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie I like I so I've got a thing against these because you know, I don't think I've ever put, tried on a pair of sliders that actually fit my feet they're either too too big or they kind of my heel goes on the back of them like just pitches, oh, right, so I yeah. end up kind of hurt hurting my foot so I hate sliders anyway obviously we're conditioned um, now I've I'll be honest this summer. I have started wearing shorts with white socks. I don't see appear to be the only one either. So I'm kind of going to leave the the sock conversation to some extent because <laughs> I am quite guilty of that because I am also 40 and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, a bit of comfort. I, I see, yeah, you see kids out, out and about and they're wearing jeans and, and no socks and shoes, which I kind of feel like that would fit you as suit you as well. I mean, are you a, are you a sock guy in general? <laughs> Uh, depends what I'm wearing. Like today, I was uh, I was wearing my high top Converse with socks and shorts. But I, yeah. I, I think because they're high socks tops, you get you get away, you get away with socks if they're high tops. But if they're, I definitely they're wear. Sort of... I definitely wear. I've got uh, well, some Levi shoes, which definitely should have at least an ankle sock. But I can't because I'm a delicate flower and I blister easily. <laughs> so I go for nice, thick, kind of sporty white socks, um, and then uh, f- flip flops. And so I've never had to wear a flip flop because the bit that goes between your toes is—I mean, that's some kind of archaic torture. Yeah, no, I agree so, with that. So, and that—that that hurts, and you can't wear a sock with that. So I'm not going to wear it. And but I certainly any of the above, I wouldn't wear at a gym. Like, okay, so how? How, how does it get changed? Because obviously you can't... You, okay, the obvious answer is ban anyone who tries walking in wearing a slider. That's the obvious yeah. answer. Yeah, yeah. Or, uh, say, or, or go over to them when they're lifting and just 
make them drop it so they drop the weight on their toes? Uh, so you're, you're kind of harsh punishment, yeah. kind of an, actu an actual, this is what could happen. Uh, well, for, and, and make it happen. <laughs> that's that's actually so you so okay so we can't ban people i suppose yeah so so dropping weights on their foot I mean, what if you just drop one person kind of casually dropped a weight on their foot yeah kind of as yeah. Part, that, I I, but, but maybe yeah maybe, maybe if that's kind of written in the small print of their contract that if you wear sliders because you can't just go around doing it, that's just that's assault but if it's written in the contract that if you wear sliders a flip-flop a kind of open toe sandal that any other member is fully entitled to walk past and drop a 10 kilogram weight on your foot. Yeah. Yeah. I also wonder that, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm a, I'm at this, uh, college gym. So I wonder what other gyms are like or whether, whether it, they are banned. I mean, I can't imagine, you know, open toe sandals or flip flops being, you know, okay, but maybe sliders because they've got Nike tick on them or an Adidas stripe, they sort of become yeah. sports shoes, and so some places are uh, kind of seemingly okay with it. I don't know. So, you know I mean, yeah, but it's just walk in with like a pair of brogues on or something and, mm. and see what happens. But I mean, my, so my, the, my gym, I, I'm usually too busy trying not to pass out to, to kind of look at other people's, uh, other people's feet. But the people that work there don't overly seem to care that much like no. they'll walk around every so often they, f they fill up a spray bottle for wiping the machines down and talk to the members that they know and that seems to be it i mean so i, I suppose there's a, a you know they won't they won't enforce any rules however if you drop a weight on their foot and someone complains where well, it's in your small print <laughs> then there's yeah. ev everyone covered well, it was an accident. Yeah, I didn't mean to do it. Didn't mean to do it. Yeah, well, yeah, right, but if it's... if it, I, I, Okay, I like to stick it in the contract. Um, obviously, pretend it's an accident, and then if they make a complaint. But essentially, broken toes is the only way anyone's going to listen. I mean, what if there's warning signs? You know, like kind of on cigarette packets, like this is what yeah. could happen. Just have little posters around with like mangled toes. Well, th yeah, they should. I mean, I saw a guy, this is not with sandals, but this is sort of, again, with stupid things to wear at the gym wearing like a little neck chain yeah and he was he was on the running machine but on the <laughs> running on the running machine this thing's just slapping him in the face yeah <laughs> and i'm thinking just stop and take it off you dickhead like it's <laughs> obviously uncomfortable well, but it's the same i have the same feeling with the shoes because surely that that is not doing the job you're trying to do you're trying to do kind of, you're kind of making it harder for yourself to do what you want to do there. Yeah. I mean, a, a chain, especially, I mean, whatever, I suppose, whatever's on your feet, as long as you're doing something of, I don't know, you know, the protocol you're, you're doing whatever you see, but you're right. A chain has actually no value at, at all. No. Uh, whatsoever. And I don't think the image of just some, some randomly getting hit in, in the face. And actually I'd welcome that. And I'd say, right. Anyone who wants to wear a, ch a chain has to spend at least what, 10 minutes on the treadmill getting so hit in the face by it. in the face. Yeah. So, so it can slap in the repeatedly. face. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I mean that, <laughs> and that, that seems fair enough. And if the chain's too small, it doesn't hit in the face. They kind of get supplied one by the gym <laughs> that's just a bit bigger and they have to wear it because they must love wearing chains so much to the gym. Here you go. Here's a complimentary one because you have to get hit in the face by it. Yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> that. <laughs> and I just like, do you think they just, like, is it the same culprit? So do you think they just forget to take it no, off? Well, no, it's, 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 it's different people. I mean, I, I mean for, for a start, I couldn't imagine someone running on a, running machine with sliders on i mean that is fucking asking for trouble isn't it uh but so the guy the guy the guys i've seen doing using sliders are generally lifting weights and not doing any kind of cardio but I, there was only one guy i've seen with a chain to be fair i have seen a couple of people with chains but this one guy was on the running machine and it was machine. like a cross it had a little cross at the bottom and this cross is just slapping him in the nose <laughs> up and down. And i'm thinking just just take the thing off you know 
being <laughs> being reminded being being reminded <laughs> yeah the reason why he's training is because I know one one day the rapture's going to come, so he's just getting <laughs> kind of remind reminding himself he needs to keep going fast. I mean, like treadmill. I because I anyone who says I like a treadmill, I think so it's it's just it's a massive liar because first of all, why pay money to run indoors when running outside is free? I don't get it. Well, you like, get a TV. You get a TV <laughs> in front of you. You do. You, you get a, you get a nice monitor to show you what you could be running on outside <laughs> true <yeah>. like <laughs> oh, okay i just well my 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 gym yeah got a nice little screen it's kind of a virtual thing of hey run around paris and i think well, first of all i know the traffic is way worse in paris than actually it shows on that uh on those screens and you would you would get run over so same with london as well so it's not mm. it's not even realistic and then sorry this is my own little rant now about <laughs> running machines um <laughs> Because I, I, I don't, so I've, I have run outside and I try running kind of as part of a, a warm up inside the gym. And first of all, it's always so hot in a gym. Like really, I find, I find, I find. Well, the, you know the sort of heat wave, mini heat wave you've just had. You know the really, really hot days, the Monday, Tuesday. I went to the gym those days, and that was the best place because its aircon was just superb. So to get all away the, from all that, the bodies, the all the bodies running around and. Oh, I Make see. It, I was up that high. Uh, no, the, the benefit I have is where it's a college gym. It was on ah, summer break, so there's no one there. No one, and same, same. Most, most sort of summers, it's just empty. So, yeah. Oh, that's that's the key. That's the key. Go when or <laughs> go when the place is closed or the college is closed. Yeah, I mean, well, my my was like, and what what is quite annoying actually because it tells me after I finished running or on the bikes or cross all these kinds of um, cardio machines, it tells me how, how long I've lit the light bulb for. <laughs> and it's, like, it's like you have powered a light bulb for 15 hours or something. I'm like, okay, well, can you take that off my monthly bill then? Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I'm helping charge them, I mean, maybe if it's like, okay, well, How's about turn it to aircon instead of lighting the light bulb? Yeah. Like, give give me my own personal like, or someone fanning me even better. How's about the longer I run, generates so much electricity that it saves them money, and I am then paying for someone's wages who works there, so that person can then be dedicated to me to fan <laughs> me. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, it makes sense. I yeah, I mean that's. For me, that's my own personal thing. Now I'm actually I'm going to put that forward to them um, and see what they come off. I don't think it'll be taken down very well, much like the drop in ten kilogram weight on on people wearing sliders um, or the extra large chain for anyone um, who wears a, a who wears a chain on a running machine. I, mean, I think gym, gyms um, as a whole. I mean, what, what's your perception of them? Because as we've spoken about what other people are doing, and I'm like. Yeah, I'm a I'm a bigger guy, so there's always that kind of so we're going to the gym and you think like you worry that people are looking at you, right? And everyone's looking at each other. But I'm like, well, most people started where I am anyway. So it doesn't matter, you know, if they look at me, then it's like, well, I'm just you, but you know, however long. I'm not you, you've always been yeah, the fine piece of ass. But um <laughs> yeah, you <we> keep, <laughs> we keep like like People kind of mind their own business a lot, which is yes. great. But then you do get the look arounders. There are. Are you a look arounder? Um, no, but I know the type of person you mean. Um, and you are right. That is pretty much the two. There are most people don't really care what you're doing. You know. Yeah. I I I go. I've been going to the same gym for about fifteen years, and the same people I see all the time. I talk to them. I haven't yeah. a clue what their names are. <laughs> <laughs> but i asked them like <laughs> advice and i talked to them about the stuff we do there and or to help me with something or um uh there's a guy who's retired and he's always there and i mean i mean he's not a big guy he's just a little guy and he just does lots of cardio and we always talk i haven't a cl- and i know what he does for a job and i know he's just <laughs> been on holiday <laughs> don't know his name <laughs> No, that's probably, it, you've now it's been too long you, you've been talking to him too long to be like Simon what is your name 
<laughs> but that's yeah. the, you've you've gone way past <laughs> way past. See, see, that's it. Have you ever asked them their name? No, no, and it's it was uh, almost because that's I kind of like that that it's that that's the place that I know only know these people at that place. Yeah, you know, I don't want to yeah. know what else that anyone else. I mean, that guy they, I've gone too far with, but there, there are the other people there that I just. Even even the staff, I don't know their names. They know mine because when I sc- scan in, it comes up with my name, and they always go, "Oh, hi Kyle, how are you doing?" And I'm like, "Yeah, all right." You yeah. with the hair, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, well, <laughs> that's what you don't you don't want. So you want a good relationship with these people, but you don't want it so close where they're like, "Do you know what? I'm moving house at the weekend." Yeah, oh, I've that. seen you. I've seen you can lift. Mm. You've got the you bend your knees. You got the you know you straighten your back. You can live heavy, lift heavy weights. I've got a <laughs> chest of drawers <laughs> that I need to get from upstairs to downstairs. Carl, will you do it? And you're like, and I say, don't even know your name. And I'll say, <laughs> no, I haven't got any sliders, so I can't do it. I can't come and lift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I kind of like. I like it that way. I like I like having, like you say, there are those people who um, uh, you, you don't really care what other people are doing, and I think most people are that. You know, they're really the people who are, who are there for really interested in being, you know, fit and exercising. They're really yeah. really interested in what they're they're doing. They don't care what they might see something like I might see something. Oh, I've never tried what that guy's doing. That looks I could try that, and then go and ask them how what's that do and how do you do that. And that's yeah. that's about it. I mean, um, uh, but pe- people who really do look around are even new um, and don't really know what they're doing. Um, like yeah. I, saw a guy, I saw a guy today. Um, he was doing um, like a back exercise. So you lift a big bar from the middle bit, and you kind of have to lean over um, and kind of pull back. So your arms are coming back behind you, but you're kind of hunched over Do you right okay what I, mean? There's a, and you, I have no idea but carry on <laughs> anyway he was doing it he was doing it almost standing up so if you're if you're kind of say that's your back and i'm sort of your back's face your, your chest is facing the floor sort yeah. of cl- close to facing the floor and you're pushing you're pulling your pulling the bar okay, towards you. you yeah he was he was more upright standing up so he was pulling the bar up to his nuts basically <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and i'm thinking well i sort of doing something it's kind of exercising your shoulders a bit and i think you're probably trying to do your back but you know it's not I'd, i could have stopped him and said look you should be doing this but i don't want i don't want to you know he's you know <laughs> he's obviously funny. learnt it somewhere so you know yeah. if he was hurting himself I, or we dropped it then i'd probably go over but if he, you know he's clearly just trying it, stuff out you know if he dropped it and the weights rolled onto his open toed open shoe, then it would be yeah. <laughs> all caught in his necklace. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe that's what it was. Maybe that's why he needed to be stood up a bit because the dangling necklace would have gotten away. <laughs> that could be it. Yeah, he was the sort of guy that was, would 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 have been wearing a necklace. It's about yeah, about that sort of guy. <laughs> he is thinking about his safety. And I was uh, last I went to, to I went to the gym the other day and um, I thought right, just a cardio day. Just like, yeah, I'm just going to go in and do the bike. I'm going to do uh, a bit of running and going to go on the uh, row machine. And so got on, what did I got on the bike and did kind of 20 minutes on the bike. And um, like I said, it was boiling in this place. Then, you know, five minute breather, got on the, the running machine and did really really badly a bit of fast a bit of slow a bit of fun but i was i wore the wrong kind of t-shirt that just just kind of soaks in the sweat and yeah. then changes color and it's <laughs> it was so obvious and my t-shirt was absolutely covered i mean it was it was drenched like when you kind of cool down move it but well, like i just walked in the shower with it and there, <laughs> there was this woman uh so she was a, an older woman and she was there, I think with her, her early husband uh, and they were kind of on these bikes as I was running just in, just in front of, so I was kind of looking over them and they would have been looking kind of across me and it could, <laughs> her face, she was trying to, obviously trying to figure out if I, I know, just come from the swimming pool because she was, <laughs> was looking at me and I kind of, you know, kind of caught, she's looking, carried on looking straight ahead. She's kind of about, I don't know, 
one one uh one one o'clock um in direction away and i kept looking and every so often i'd look at her and she was still looking <laughs> and, <laughs> but her face kind of got more and more kind of i don't know Grunts like in, in this confusion <laughs> to, the, to the extent where I stopped running because I was like, I, I'm pretty sure she took me. T- I got off, cleaned the machine down, walk around, and she was just looking at her husband who was next to her, like her, his screen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, and I heard her say, You're going too slow. <laughs> Dave, Dave, you're going too slow. I was like, Oh, I want me at all. But, um, no, okay, let go. I think it's sitting and moaning about gyms, um, forever and a day. Um, I mean, I feel, I kind of feel like we've done a good job here. We've, we've, we've basically punish anyone who wears sliders or, or a chain, um, but essentially put it all in, in the small print of the contract. You know, if you're, if you're happy to put yourself at risk like that, then expect consequences. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, like I feel I said- like we've made, Maybe it's because we're old and we 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 know better. Maybe that's what it is. That's that's it. We're we're older and wiser. I think is a phrase no one would ever use about us. But yeah, I I I feel like we've made it better. There you go. We've got your situation. You've got you got some points. Go to your gym with these points. Maybe write it down. Put it in an email. I just said I've got some suggestions to to make the place better. You have to figure out who I've got to talk to. Is it guy with beard? Or oh, that's a good point. Name. Name. Might need their name. name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a whole whole another problem. Uh, <laughs> so thank you for our show. Before before we go, um, what's so what's going on in the world of um, Carlos and head producer of Face TV at the moment? Uh, well, well, um, uh, well. Uh, we I also outside of work. My, my well, my job is a video producer. We make TV commercials. And today I was actually filming a podcast. Um, yeah, all sorts of things like that. But outside of work, I run a film festival um, with with a bunch of friends and colleagues. And annually, we put it on. It's it's end of September this year. It's in twenty twenty two. It's starts online on the seventeenth of September, and it's uh, runs for a week. And then the big event is up here in Basingstoke on the twenty fourth. It's Ex- Exit Six Film Festival. And uh, you can Exit check us out on, six. yeah, you can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Pretty active on Twitter, actually. Um, yeah, tickets are not on sale just yet, but they are on sale fairly soon. And um, yeah, and we're open again for new submissions. If you're a filmmaker, we're open again for submissions. Usually November to June, July every year. So and, and then, yeah, every September we will have something on. This is a in- independent movie yeah short films uh, festival short films short films under 15 Fantastic. minutes any kind of genre you know you name it we, we, we'll kind of look at it and uh yeah there's a panel we, we the way we review them is we have a sort of a panel of about 20 or so people and we watch the films and rate them and about 40 or so will make the cut and there's a Fantastic. there's a bunch of awards for we give awards for best film best uh best performance best script editing uh screenplay and audience choice i think that's six excellent <laughs> well what we'll do we'll put the uh we'll put the, the kind of link registration link um or social media links um in the uh bio of this episode and people will be able to jump on and check it out cool uh right carl well thank you very much um it's been an absolute pleasure um and i feel like uh that is Jim, Jim attire, uh, and uh, other gym related issues has been made better. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye bye.